Welcome to our Sunday message. Today we start a new sermon series in the book of Jonah. You could say it's a bit of a fishy tale. So welcome. Welcome to our weekly sermon today. You could say that Jonah was a bit of a reluctant prophet, if you know the story. We need to let God's word speak. Speak clearly into our lives. We need to listen. We need to understand. We need to say, hey God, what do you want to say to me? Through your word today. It's Jonah chapter 1. He's a minor prophet in the Old Testament. Reading from verse 1. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it, because its wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went on board and sailing for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. Sorry? Jonah ran from the Lord. He headed for Tarshish. The good news for us today is that the Lord, His word might come to us clearly. That the Lord God may speak to you and I today, may have a word for us. For God loves to speak. God is a speaking God. God often spoke through the prophets. God has spoken spoken through circumstances. God speaks through the voice of the Holy Spirit. God speaks through his word. God spoke to Jonah. Hey Jonah, I have a job for you to do. A lot of the time, we feel like we know best. And we don't want to obey the word of the Lord that comes to us. This was Jonah. Go to the great city of Nineveh. I want you to go and preach against it because its wickedness has come to my attention, said God. They're an evil, ruthless, violent people who show no mercy. But he ran. You can always find a boat sailing in the wrong direction if you want to look for it. A lot of people will say, well, I know that God is saying this or that, but I want to do this. I don't care what God is saying at the moment. I've got this to do. I want to do that. That feels good to me. I'll get back to God when it suits me. There's a bit of Jonah in all of us. Don't delay. Don't delay, obey. Don't delay, obey. Delayed obedience is really just disobedience. Jonah said, I don't want to go there. I don't want to have anything to do with these people. Friends, God will speak to you. And he may tell you to do something that you may not like or want to do. You can always find a ship moving in the opposite direction. And some of you know what I'm talking about. I'll get back to God's plan when I finish what I'm doing and where I'm heading and what I'm up to. God said, go and preach to the Ninevites. But our mate Jonah said, no, I'm heading off to Tarshish. Tarshish was thousands of kilometres away from where God wanted him to go. Someone today who's hearing this message, seeing this message, needs to stop running. 
Stop running. For God will get your attention. It won't, maybe it won't be as dramatic as Jonah's story, or it may be. Stop running. Start acting. Start listening. In Jonah chapter 1 verse 4, Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea, and such a violent storm arose that the ship threatened to be broken up. Carrying on from verse 8. So they asked him, Tell us, who is responsible for making all this trouble for us? What kind of work do you do? Where do you come from? What is your country? From what people are you? He answered, I am a Hebrew. And I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the dry land. This terrified them and they asked, what have you done? They knew he was running away from the Lord because he'd already told them. Verse 15. Then they took Jonah and threw him overboard. And the raging sea grew calm. At this the men greatly feared the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made vows to him. Verse 17. Now the Lord provided a huge fish to swallow Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. A massive storm is, is smashing this boat. They're terrified. And Jonah basically says, hey guys, it's me. It's my fault. I'm running away from what God has cold, told me to do. Don't serve God when it suits you. Or a storm might come and cause some damage. Follow faithfully. Follow faithfully. Don't just be a fan. Obey daily. Friends, we are doing our best to engage with you as a Christian community. But it's up to you to log in, to connect, to engage, to do the best that you can do. Spend time in prayer. Take some time out of every day to read God's word. And say, Lord, what would you say to me? Listen for his voice. Listen for the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Be people of hope. Be people of encouragement. Poor Jonah. Hey guys, it's my fault. Pick me up and throw me into the sea and, and all will be okay. Then something unbelievably bad happens to Jonah. As he's tossed into the sea, a huge fish appears and swallows him up. It's a miracle in disguise for those of you that know the story. He was inside this fish for three days and three nights. That must have been a bit scary, must have been a bit freaky. He thought he was going to die in a storm, thrown into the sea, a fish swallows him up. But with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. Jonah's worst nightmare was exactly what he needed. I'm sure he was shocked. I'm sure he was scared. I'm sure he was amazed. I'm sure he's thinking, what next? Hey, I'm still alive. I'm inside a fish. The Lord provided the fish. What Jonah thought was the worst possible outcome. God provided a way out. God's providing a second chance. But we'll get to that later. Some of you right now, today, may be facing what you consider to be your worst nightmare. Maybe God might use this time to get your attention. 
because you've had to stop. Stop trying to control everything. You've had to stop running away from him. For some of us, it's time to rethink, to rest, to refocus, to work smarter, to be more creative, to stop and care about those in our family and those around us who may be struggling. For some of us, God's word to us is stop and rethink. Work with those restrictions, but still find joy in the simple things of life. Don't lose hope. Don't run from God when he speaks. When he has a task for me to do, when he has a task for you to do, don't drift away. I believe he will get you back on track. Friends, I'm sure of it. Don't take a detour. It will be less stressful, I can assure you. Watch out for those storms. Watch out for those large fish. Over the next few weeks, we will journey through the book of Jonah. I pray God's word will encourage you and inspire you. I pray there may be fresh insight for us as we take this journey together. As I finish, let me read Philippians chapter 1, 9 to 11. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. Amen. Amen. God bless you.